Hello. It's early Sunday evening and Mr Joe and I have had a really lovely day today. Uh, so this morning uh, I came out and I did uh, some gardening. I got some more uh, of the brassicas in. And I did an awful lot of weeding, of rolling up of uh, weeds on the pathways. Um, do you remember how I did it in the front garden? I was literally just <laughs> rolling them up while well, I did some of that here. And that was really nice because it's just instant clearing. Uh, so those weeds all uh, went off for the ducks to dibble through. Uh, and then Mr J uh, came and did some weed whacking outside. Uh, so he's cleared some of the area here. And I'm now sitting in uh, what was going to be called the pumpkin patch. Uh, but it's where the raspberries are on one side of me and the uh, gold raspberries that I put in to the raised bed on the other side of me. So he's cleared. Uh, he's made a start here. Uh, and all in front of me is all done, so that's brilliant. Uh, so we did some of that, um, and then we had some brunch, and then we paused and uh, did stuff inside, so Mr J uh, sorted out some of his radio show stuff, uh, I did some uh, social media things, and then we came back out uh, and started to tackle the big pile of pallets and scrap wood that were delivered uh, earlier in the week. And, well, we haven't done too badly. Uh, Mr J has cut up uh, five basket loads of wood which is absolutely brilliant because it means we've got it uh, for kindling uh, and also uh, just to give the fire a bit of extra oomph uh, in the winter and it's so nice to know uh, that we're starting to, to get some stores of wood for the winter and we're not going to be having to try and, and cut it and sort it uh, in the autumn when it's pouring with rain and the wood's all wet so it can get stored away uh, until we need it in the autumn. And the other thing we did was, uh, while we were sorting out all those, we kind of had a look at the, the bits of pallet that were there and there were a couple of bits that we thought if we did a little bit of jiggling around with them, uh, we could create a new raised bed. And indeed, that's what we've done. So uh, there's the one bed uh, made out of fascia boards um, with the raspberries in it and there's now a, a new bed here. I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is such a good use uh, of old wood uh, and that uh, was really quite simple to do. Uh, it's nowhere near as big as the uh, herb bed in the front garden and with two of us doing it it was a doddle uh, so, so I'm really pleased. So we've put down a thick layer of cardboard uh, over the area that's been weed whacked uh, and there's about four layers of cardboard in there uh, hopefully that will be enough uh, just to keep the, the weeds off for now. And then we've built this very nice bed, uh, which is about 16 inches high. <laughs> it's exciting stuff. And I'm going to do what I've done uh, with other beds, which is fill it with uh, wood chippings and then uh, create planting pockets uh, to put some plants in. Uh, this is not ideal. It's not something I recommend uh, <laughs> because as soon as those roots uh, go out of the, the bit of soil you've given them, they're just hitting wood chips uh, that haven't broken down yet, they haven't got the nutrients in them. Um, so I will need to feed the plants that are in these uh, planting pockets uh, throughout the year uh, and probably all of next year as well uh, until the wood chips are broken down and I can add some amendments to those. Um, but it's a start. Uh, so in here uh, I'm going to put uh, probably three squashes, I think. Um, I think three is enough uh, just because that once they get going and they get growing uh, they're going to spread out quite a long way we hope uh, how exciting is this I'm really <laughs> I'm really pleased I'm really really pleased by it <laughs> uh, completely unexpected and uh, and it was nice because it just tidied up. It tied in with what we were doing. So it was tied in with uh, Mr. Chair having weed wax. So now we've got the, that area covered. And likewise, uh, used the wood that we were uh, sorting out this afternoon. And it's <laughs> just done. Uh, and all I've got to do now uh, is bring over an awful lot of barrow loads of wood chips. 